So is your duty to work as a telephone operator. Refer to that as the call of duty. Hey guys, welcome back to Kai. I'm Kai and Terry back once again taking a look at this uh, this cool little uh, 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 sculpting that I did in Blender. Now, I want to kind of go through a lot of the things that I'm doing as I do this. So, I don't sculpt, sculpt too often anymore, but I was like, you know what? I haven't done in ages this. So, here we are today. The first thing that I do is, the first thing that I will say is that a lot of a lot of people kind of get this mixed up and they'll they'll sculpt with a sphere or a circle or you know even even an icosphere or whatever or what have you and heavily do not recommend the reason why is because at the top of the icosphere sorry at the top of the sphere or the icosphere really there's just these, these weird little points and they come to a point um and when you sculpt with that it kind of makes things out of whack um the the cube also has this so around the temples and around where the jaw would be also has like little points but it's way easier to manage than the than the 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 sphere is so i would say just use a sphere sorry use a a, a square and just subdivide it that's the that's the biggest thing here and um with different shapes so i know a lot of people are kind of confused as to how to make like a, a an eyeball or a nose like this the best thing to do is to create a separate mesh and then later on you can combine them so basically what i've done here is i've i've gone out of editing our actual head and i've added a completely separate completely new object a square or a circle or whatever and then i've i've gone ahead and just started modeling that now um these are completely two separate objects i this is not they're not attached whatsoever right now but later on we're going to go ahead and attach them together which is going to make this a lot a lot easier to deal with because right now the only way that you could have multiple different meshes in the same thing is maybe to add the mesh while you're inside of edit mode, which just makes things hard to edit because you'd be sculpting sculpting both of the mesh at the same time. It's just, it's a pain. So create two or three or four, however many different objects you need, create them as separate meshes, and then we can add them back later on. Um, once we have all that kind of stuff done, you see, I, I kind of use different tools here. So the biggest tool that I use is the pull tool oh and you see i just used the remesh uh tool there as well so um if you want i can do a separate tutorial about just the remesh uh bit about sculpting but it's super useful you basically just select two objects and then you know right click join them together and then once you join them together there should be one mesh um and then when you go back into uh sculpt on that mesh then it should have a remesh modifier up at the top right and then you can go ahead and use that and just change the settings around it's really super useful but as i was setting, saying you kind of want to go back and forth um i see a lot of people just using one uh tool and it's kind of a shame because there's look at all these tools that blender has at your disposal and you can actually add more of them and create new ones um there's so many tools and people kind of just use the draw tool or the brush tool and it's really not don't do that there's so many there's so 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 many one of the one of my most used probably more than the brush tool to be honest with you the most used tool that i that i probably have in this in this kit is literally the pole tool the pole tool does so much um just so we're clear i'm saying p-u-l-l -L. i think i know a lot of times people are like did you say poll like you're gonna go to the polls and vote or are you polling something now pull pull i'm pulling an object it's like a pull you know um but i use that tool a lot actually a lot a lot a lot a lot and this i think i use the um i think i use a draw tool here but i just kind of inverted it make the little mouth there now i'm not gonna lie mouths are mouths are a little shifty because you gotta you gotta play with them a lot and you have to add new uh vertices and stuff so you have a little bit more detail in there to actually like you know clean things up and make it look like it's not like a chunky mess like this that's what i used to call the soup my mom used to give me when i was a kid by the way a chunky mesh anyway um we use that and we kind of use the um the 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 re to re re to po re to po feature um and create a little bit more vertices in there to mess with and i use the pinch tool here a lot for like mouths and like smaller surfaces and stuff but bro looks kind of sad i'm not gonna lie but don't worry he can play humbuck scrooge in um a, a christmas carol or something like that he can get some good work during the holidays but um but yeah there's a lot of tools just use them just use the tools bro don't be afraid to use the tools i know a lot of people just kind of get locked in they kind of just start using just the basic one or whatever else but use them there's also the smooth tool the smooth tool is a godsend they made that thing and it's it should be worth like a million dollars it's so good um 
but yeah, I mean, just kind of get crazy with it. I mean, this is a person. Obviously, I, I wouldn't maybe recommend sculpting a person if you're not feeling comfortable about sculpting it. Maybe like sculpt uh, something something cool. Maybe sculpt a rock. Rocks are actually super fun to sculpt because they're really sharp edges. So you can kind of get crazy with it. But don't be afraid to not do something realistic because it is a head or a face. Just keep in mind, I mean, it's art. Let's let's keep in mind at the end of the day. There's going to be a lot of people that you come across in your life that kind of tell you, this is wrong. You're wrong for creating it like this. You, why did you do it like that? Uh, screw those guys, okay? Those guys are short and unfun to be around. All right, listen, it's art. It's art, okay? Have fun making it. And if it looks cool when you're done, job well done the only time we need to worry about if it's like you know accurate or whatever else is if you're actually making something that's meant to be hyper realistic or if you're commissioned for like disney or something and they want you to do it in a specific way if you're making stuff for fun or you're just doing your own art or making your own projects man screw those guys dude have some fun making your art man okay listen don't let anybody tell you oh you know what uh it's actually uh, not supposed to be like that dude uh, actually dude his uh, chin is wrong dude it's fun, man. It's it's fun. Also, this weight this weight painting, this uh, texture painting bit here is also super cool. But it's kind of a pain to set up. I'm not gonna lie. I'll I might do a separate video for that as well because man, texture, setting up textures to paint on a mesh can be like crazy difficult in some really strange way. Like you have to set it up so that it renders properly like this. So I have to put these nodes up. It's just it's just like it's just weird. It's just very strange the way that it works in Blender, which I, well, I think a lot of people maybe get it confused and kind of messed up. But uh, but yeah, we're nearing the end of it here. And I think the uh, one of the biggest things with modeling also is the lighting. So if you light the model in a terrible way, you're going to think it looks worse than it actually does. I promise. So um, lighting does come a lot into part with uh, with uh, with sculpting and, and, and modeling and stuff, which is why they do like turn turnarounds and turntables and stuff like that to kind of make show it off and make it look nice and stuff. But uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's short little video. We'll probably do a lot more sculpting videos in the very near future. So if you like seeing them, let me know, of course. As always, I don't really know what you guys want to see unless you tell me, so always make sure to tell me. And if you did enjoy, then I appreciate it. If you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, hey, how you doing? But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourself. See you guys later. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then.